Hi friends, welcome back to PS Desire. In this video, I am excited to share a simple trick with you that will help you retouch skin in Photoshop using generative fill feature. It's an effective technique that can make a significant difference in your portrait photos. And to demonstrate the effectiveness of this technique, I have carefully selected a stunning portrait photo with impressive dimensions of 4000 by 6000 pixels. This choice guarantees that you will witness the full potential of this method in action. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. First things first, open your image in Photoshop beta. Since we will be utilizing the generative fill feature which is not yet available in the regular Photoshop version. Once you have your image open, navigate to the channels panel. Here, click on the plus icon to add a new channel. Now you can notice that a channel appears in black color. We need to change that black color to a shade of gray. To change the black color to a more suitable shade of gray, use the convenient keyboard shortcut Shift plus Backspace. In the Fill dialog box that appears, select color from the contents drop down menu and choose a brightness level of 40%. You can simply type 40 in the brightness box while keeping the hue and saturation at zero. Now click OK to close the color picker and then again click OK to apply the fill. We have successfully transformed the black channel to a 40% gray shade. Now it's time to turn on the RGB channels. Once you do that, the entire image will turn red, which indicates that we are on the right track. At this point, Pay close attention to the following crucial step to ensure optimal results. Grab the brush tool and restore the default color chips by using the keyboard shortcut D. Set the color to black. Now carefully paint over areas such as the eyes, nose and mouth facial features that you don't want to alter. And remember we are only targeting the skin for retouching. If you are not meticulous with your painting, Photoshop's AI might generate entirely new elements that we don't need. You can also paint over the ears or any other areas you wish to preserve in its original state. After finish painting, now while holding the control or command key, click on the alpha 1 thumbnail. This action creates a selection, although the selection edges won't be visible to us. So disregard the warning message that pops up stating that no pixels are more than 50% selected. Click OK to dismiss the warning. Next, hide the alpha 1 channel and select the RGB channel. Switch to the layers tab and click on the generate to fill button. In the text prompt that appears, leave it blank and hit the generate button. You now have the results of the generative fill. To examine the variations, open the properties panel. It's worth noting that while the generated results may appear 100% fake, we are only interested in the color and the skin texture they provide. Look for a face shape that closely resembles the original and matches the desired skin tone. In this case, the third variation seems to be a good fit. However, for the sake of exploration, let's generate one more time and see if we can find any even better results. Alright, we have the new set of results, but unfortunately, I am not particularly fond of these second generation variations. I prefer the faces generated initially, so I will stick with the third one which looks quite good. Now to ensure a natural look and retain some of the original skin texture and pores, we need to lower the intensity of the skin. I am going to reduce the fill opacity to around 65%, but feel free to adjust these settings according to your preference. If you prefer a more dramatic effect, you can even use 100% opacity. There is no hard on fast rules here, it's all up to you. With the layer mask selected, 
invert it using the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus or Command plus I. Then pick up the brush tool again, choose the white color and gently paint over the skin areas to reveal the new skin texture and tone. We finished the skin retouching, now it's time to remove any unwanted elements in the portrait. Now move on to using the remove tool to eliminate unwanted elements in the portrait. Select the remove tool and create a new blank layer. Make sure to check the option to sample all layers as this will allow you to remove elements effectively. Carefully paint over the areas you wish to remove and let Photoshop work its magic. Let me fix this area as well using the remove tool. And that's it we have completed the skin retouching process. If you would like you can take it step further and add makeup or enhance other aspects of the image such as brightening the eyes, dodging and burning or contouring whatever you wish. Let me show you how to make eyes pop. Let's add a curves adjustment layer. Go to adjustment panel and choose curves. Brighten up the image slightly by adjusting the curve like this and then change the layer blending mode to color dodge. Now select the mask and invert the mask to hide the effect initially. Now using the brush tool and a select white color, paint over the iris to bring out the desired effect. Finally adjust the opacity of the layer to your liking. And there you have it friends, we have successfully retouched the skin in our portrait. Compare the before and after results to see the remarkable transformation. I hope you like this skin retouching trick. If you want to see more Photoshop tips, tricks and techniques, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future Photoshop tutorials. Hit the bell to receive notifications from this channel. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and comment. See you guys in the next video. Take care. Happy editing.